Thank you for tuning in to another episode. If you don't want to see my videos come up on your feed, don't watch them. That way they don't come up. And if they happen to, don't forget to click the dots and say not interested. Now let's get to the show. Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and today we're going to be talking about some news I heard on TechCrunch that was revealed by Nintendo's new CEO, Shuntaro Furukawa. Yes, I had to look down and figure out how to pronounce that name because it's really hard to pronounce. But anyways, he gave us some really revealing details when he spoke to the Nikkei. Okay, so for anybody that doesn't know what the Nikkei is, the Nikkei is kind of like the Dow Jones. It is a stock exchange that all kinds of big, huge corporations will trade their stocks to public people, investors, companies, all kinds of stuff in order to basically raise funds to build up the value of the company, all that good stuff. We all know what stocks are, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about what Shintaro Furukawa had to say to the Nikkei. Now, what Furukawa had to say is probably not going to make some people very happy because it seems like he wants to actually pursue more mobile development for Nintendo. Nintendo wants to double down on their efforts in mobile and turn it into a billion dollar revenue stream for themselves. Now, Nintendo's been doing mobile for a couple of years now. They've had some successes like Super Mario Run and Fire Emblem Heroes, but for the most part, it hasn't been doing that well. There's been apps like Miitoma, which have shut down just a little more than a year after coming out, while games like Animal Crossing Pocket Camp seem to struggle in maintaining regular users. There was, of course, a huge success of Pokemon Go, but it's not as popular as it used to be. So Nintendo wants to keep on striving, and they want to keep on building up mobile. Nintendo has recently announced a mobile partnership with a company called Games in order to help further that push and that investment into mobile development. Not only that, though, but for the first time ever, Nintendo is making a new franchise built specifically for mobile. It is a free-to-play mobile RPG game called Dragalia Lost, and it seems like it's going to be something that could potentially be really popular in the Japanese market. It seems like that's what they're aiming for with this particular mobile game, at least from what I've seen so far on it. We're supposed to have more news about that, and it's supposed to come out later on this summer, but I guess we'll see how that turns out. Now, personally, I'm not at all that surprised that Nintendo wants to do this, uh, at least this new CEO because mobile has been making a crap ton of money ever since Fortnite has came out on iPhones. It's been making millions of dollars every day from selling microtransaction related transactions in the game because Fortnite is a free to play game and mobile's always been a hotbed for making a lot of money with little investment. That's why so many people are still pushing towards mobile development, even though a lot of them do crash and burn. For every company like King.com that can come out with a billion dollar game like Candy Crush Saga, there's literally hundreds of companies that try to emulate that success and either can barely make it or they just fold under the pressure. So mobile is definitely a risky move for Nintendo, but Nintendo certainly has the resources and know-how, if any company does, in order to make it big. The thing is, though, a lot of the games that have been in the mobile space that have been big successes all came from smaller companies, little indie studios. Games like Angry Birds, Plants vs. Zombies, Candy Crush, all these popular mobile games that were the top dog of their time, they came from companies that were really small time. It's very rare that a huge mega corporation like Nintendo or EA actually makes a hugely successful mobile game that brings in tons of money. Now, they can make successful mobile games that can still bring in a re decent revenue stream for them, but it's not something that gets to quite that success, it seems. So it'll be interesting to see if Nintendo could be the first big company to pull it off. Now, that being said, I know some people are probably going to be really upset about this news. They're probably worried that, oh, well, Nintendo's going to stop making games for the Switch now, apparently, because they're going to put all their money on iPhones. I don't think that's what's going to happen, guys. A lot of people had those complaints with Nintendo with, like, the Amiibo, for instance. Oh, we're not releasing new Wii U games because we're making Amiibo. The thing is, a big company like that can have multiple divisions all doing different things 
at the same time. And this will just be one part in Nintendo that's going to be working on this. And it seems like they're still relying a lot on third parties to actually develop the games. So I don't really put too much stock on it. I'm not sure how much success Nintendo is going to have, though, because mobile is such a volatile and unpredictable market. What do you guys think, though? Do you think that Nintendo can really make a billion dollars in the mobile industry? Do you think that this new Dragalia loss could be a big hit for Nintendo, or is it a mistake? Let me know in the comments what you think below. But till then, down Phoenix out. The number of people playing this game. Dude, don't you think praying is a really bad idea in the middle of a huge battle? Hey, let's release our game two months after Shadow of Colossus. Great idea. Deadbeat Dad Simulator 2018.